Welcome back to the channel. Uh, out for another camp tonight. I need to get into that wood. Uh, it's really local. It's five minutes away from where I live. It's perfect. It's nice and clear. There are a number of what I call coppices around here. And uh, one of them is clearly part of someone's home. Don't go in there. One of them is fenced off. I don't go in there. Another one is completely overgrown, although kids do go in there and, and there's a little kid, kid camp, but the rest of it is overgrown. Pretty useless. Uh, that one there, I believe, has uh, pheasants in it. There's some feeders, some blue barrels, which are feeders. So basically, I'm not going to go in any of those. But that one there is definitely an option. I've been in it, had a look around. It is absolutely spot on. Um, it meets all my sort of rules I follow. Um, but the snag is that the village is just down there. So finding somewhere to park is a, ni is a nightmare and not look obvious with a rucksack on. So it's actually just difficult to get to discreetly. Right, this is dog walking central around here. Lots of people walking their dogs. That's the wood there. That's the other way in. I'll be walking up there and I'll be just be visible by all those houses. So I need to get into there, but you've got to do it without. Because if you're, if you're pegged with this lot on your back, I think you look a little bit obvious. And a lot of my camps are, you know, I follow my rules, which I mentioned. Um, and a lot of my camps are, I wouldn't call them stealth camps because I'm quite happy having a fire or not worried about light discipline when it gets late. Uh, a lot of my camps are like that, the way I don't really get, get worried by that sort of thing. But this one, yeah, I need to be cautious. Right, so we're going to cut over here, around there, and then dart into the wood, providing the coast is clear. Oh. We're in. Okay. There's lots of, it's not looked after this place. It's pretty big, I would say it's two or three acres, three acres I think. Been in here once before and there's no obvious sign that anyone, that anyone comes in here. Um, there's a rotten um, tin can down that way, big tin can, uh, which has been clearly been rusting away there for years. And the only other evidence that anyone comes in here squeeze through these thistles is this an old I don't know if it's a bird feeder or a squirrel feeder um, it's got spiders inside it's rotting off down here it's got no food in it and a, and a quite a, a clearly there have been squirrels climbing up here digging their digging their claws in the soft lead So it looks like oak everywhere. It's a small oak wood. Yeah, it just looks like oak. So I don't know why the why the ground hasn't overgrown. Don't know. So I think this will do for tonight. It's great that it's five minutes away, but it's just a pain that it's not easy to get into. You know, you need to have easy access, easy parking, not an easy route in as well as parking. Um, public right away nearby. A bit of a, a bug out direction which for me is that way. Someone's clearly been in here before as well. Uh, there's a lot of moss on it so I think that was a long time ago someone's built a little kiddies hut. But I think I'll stay up this end. Got my catapult for a little bit of target practice which is my thing for the last or one of my things for the last six months has been uh, catapults and uh, sling, well basically slingshot, sling bow as well, one of them converts into a bow and also I, will, I can also do sling arrow, uh, arrows, or darts rather, about that long darts which you have to use a special glove for there uh, <laughs> because that can go very badly wrong. Right I've got my little spot, that's the bag I'm bringing, the one Tigris uh, Rocket 45 which has been a great bag, I'm very tempted by is it the Sabre 45? Been very tempted. 
it's a little it's, it's actually quite difficult finding somewhere in a copse this dense because everything is right next to each other you're looking for a couple of big trees but then with no little trees um in the middle another good thing about this wood is that there are not very many big trees they all look fairly healthy there are a few dead limbs sort of loafing here and there um but not not many i mean there's that is one over there so i was going to swing down there but i won't here looks okay everything looks alive so we should be good i'm going to keep because this is a clearly an individual owns this i'm going to i'm not going to have any sort of big fire it's going to be in a oven tray small oven tray so it's going to be a small fire just going to do some burgers uh, the ground is very wet so I'm not too worried, you know, in terms of safety, there's nothing really to worry about. I just don't want to, yeah, if someone someone came in and you've got a big roaring fire on the ground going on, it just doesn't look good, does it? So, and I can put it out really quick with the oven tray, which is great. I can just pour more water straight into it. It retains all the water and you can very quickly douse it all down. I barely ever use this. If I ever want a table that is really lightweight, then this is one to take but I can never remember which way around it goes it's <laughs> um, they must go on the outside so that's correct there okay it's okay it is very light so I do like it for that um, but I rarely use it I take my my big green one because it's but it, I just want to keep everything keep the weight down it'll do for now with this system, which I know I've shown before. All right, I haven't even got the beers out yet. I know it's Christmas, but geez, pay attention. There you go. It's my indoor tripod because it's so much, so much lighter. Not that long today. All right, so this system, yeah, I've shown it before. You get these clips and. This mechanism here, it is good for Hennessy hammocks because they are pretty unique in that they come with a single bit of rope. And you just lock it into that mechanism. But you've always got to make sure that this end is pointed up. And then I just do a half hitch on here, or a slippery half hitch, just to stop this from popping out, which it has done to me once before, which was rather embarrassing given what I just said to people that I've done this plenty. <laughs> Right, we've got, well, not long before it gets dark, probably 25 minutes. And what I'm using, and I always bring it out in a bag because it just makes taking home easier, is just one of these. I have two of these, a big one and a little one. I just brought out the little one, so I don't really need much, much wood. The ground is soaking wet, so this will sit, I'll clear a little area. This will sit in there and I really don't need much. Just gonna do some burgers tonight. Um, Yes, plenty of dead standing. Let's go and find some. It'll come straight down. Ah. And I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Brew Dog Elvis Dew, six and a half percent, grapefruit infused IPA. A couple of these tonight. Oh, I've been looking to come out for, for flipping ages, but just with, you know what family life is like. Right, my new little hobby is catapults. The gypsy weapon of choice, apparently. I didn't know, did not know that. Um, yeah, it's an Evo, Caddyshack Evo, Evo 2 Pro or something like that. Uh, I've attached a little wristband on because I'm fairly new to it and I don't want to be whacked in the face with this thing. <clears throat> uh, 0.75 um, Caddyshack bands, which are 2520 taper, if that means anything to you. Um, yeah, 
and we'll give it a go. Um, just practicing with some nine and a half mil steel. I don't use lead. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm low to use steel really. Uh, at home, I've got a nice little target area and I can catch the steel so it doesn't just end up on the ground. But I suppose it's like stones, isn't it? But I see a lot of people doing it. But is it okay? I don't know. Don't know. I just wouldn't use lead for obvious reasons. Uh, I just don't like the idea of dumping lead um, around the place. But steel's pretty bloody harmless, I think. So we'll have a little go with this lot and see how we do. Got a target down there, a little white disc. You may see it, I don't know. Right. Like I say, I'm not very good at this. But we'll give it a go. I prefer over the top because I have no idea. You can fire your bands over the top or through the forks. Over the top, I think, is what most people do, but beginners is better through the forks but I've just gone for over the top straight away just so I get used to something. Still getting used to my anchor point. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right I will edit all that out and I'll just keep the first shot. <laughs> right not much wood. But it'll do to, uh, to cook a couple of burgers. Listening in to what's around. So that's the repeater. I think that repeater is up, at, up in Cheddar, RV48. And then, um, yeah, there's a family talking to each other. I think there's a kid out building a den, uh, I reckon, over in that wood over there. Um, but he's talking to his mum on Channel 8. Radios are great for that sort of thing. Just for keeping in touch with my son. I used to give it to him if he wanted to go around the village, but he became too old for that and it's embarrassing. So, uh, yeah, so, so that ended. <laughs> right, homemade. This is while camping suicide with this light on, but I've got no choice. Get that layer off. There we go. Now then. Now I know the farmer is working still because I've heard him on the radio on channel 5. So he's chatting with his mate on there. And uh, I'm scanning that at the moment. So if he does decide to come and wander and ex the unexplained lights in the woods. The bad thing about these trays is that you don't get any draw underneath very easily. But we'll see how it goes. It's not great wood, but it's going. So I think we'll be okay. All right, put this away. Don't want to do a joke. I have no idea what this will taste like on my little bit rusty <laughs> grill. All right, let's see how these taste. And then get the burgers going. I think you are already starting to see countries holding Bitcoin in even less developed countries wanting to play on a more level playing field. Right, the rain is starting now. I've got to tone this light down a little bit. Oh, oh that's even worse. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. That's even better. Um, right, burger number one. I've lost a hinge. 
that hinge is gone. I think we'll be okay. Rain is now starting to come down. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, that is springing out, so I'll stick that in there. That'll stop that. There we go. Let's leave that. Rain is a coming. Always on the way. One more burger. It's probably about half seven. It's not going to get light until about eight o'clock, so I'm just I'm, I was just lying there getting a bit bored, so I thought I'd just get up and get going early. Uh, yeah, the rain did come down last night, so it was constantly raining really throughout the night, but not heavy rain, just fairly light. Uh, then the rain stopped, and then the wind suddenly really picked up, and these trees have been going nuts. And it's a good thing about this wood, it's, it's a young wood, and therefore there's not a lot of... Um, yeah, the big there are no massive branches up there, but they're you know reasonable size still. Um, but the first place that I was going to camp, which was just over here, so there's my camp, and I was going to actually pitch this tree in the middle across over to I think it was that one over there. Yes, I was going to shift this debris here, but I did notice when I looked up. You see that branch which is broken off. I'll try and point it out. It's the one that goes, I think it goes up about there, but it's snapped off. And he's come down across there, broken another section's gone there, and so on. A bit's gone into, into that area. And that's why I moved from that location was because of that Widowmaker that I saw up there. Now, I think I probably would have, would have survived it. Uh, it's another reason I like having a ridge line on my hammock because if you make, make get it out of Dyneema, something that's three, four mil Dyneema, something like that, just that extra bit of strength when something comes down just to help break the impact. Um, I mean, that would have damaged, that would have ripped my tarp up. It would have screwed up my my bug mesh, it would probably have broken that as well, you know. So it, while it's not light, or it's not massively heavy, you know, it's heavy enough that coming down from that height would mean quite a substantial whack. And, uh, you know, it could it could knock you out. Who knows? So, uh, and yeah, I'm glad I wasn't under that. I heard it come down. This one's become disconnected, so it's a bit of a mess. I will just chuck it all in my bag. I do not like packing up in the dark. Right. Stuff this lot in here. Something caught on something else. There we go, I think that's everything in. Right, all that lot in. Now the straps. Right, that's me done. Actually really enjoyed that little sleep. Uh, it's a nice little wood. It's, it'll be perfect for the summer. Absolutely, yeah, I really enjoy it in here in the summer, but it's difficult to get in and out, and it, but it's, you know, it's five minutes drive down from my place. Loads of standing dead wood in here, uh, clear ground, got a little uh, hammocking spot sorted now. Nice meal, although a little bit burnt, but nice simple meal. Uh, my light discipline, I started off, you know, just with the red light and slowly built that up, and certainly by 10 o'clock, I'm really not, didn't seem that fussed. Uh, I can't see any lights from the houses down there, so I think it's a fairly discreet little location, particularly in the summer when all, when all the green foliage is up. Anyway, um, see you next time.